Hi, I'm Cameron Sheets with Queerty, and I'm so, so, so excited to talk to our old friend Adam Lambert today about his Club Ready, we'll say it, Club Ready EP afters and so much more. Adam, how's it going? It's good. How are you? I'm great. I'm thrilled to be here with you. I love being called your old your old friend. Well, not old, but like... Yeah, uh, okay, fine. <laughs> <laughs> I can be your old friend. I'm, I am the old friend. friend. You know? <laughs> old is wise. I'll take it. I'll take it. Our wise friend, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> it's perfect. I was hoping like we could maybe song by song. I wanted to just dive into quick moments for, from a few of them. Basically, I'm going to read a line of lyrics and I'm, it, you know, whatever compels you, if there's inspiration to it specifically that you want to tell us. No, about, yeah. Tell I'm me. Tell, I'm, it's curious to see. I'm, I always love hearing what like popped out for you, you yeah. as the listener. Yeah. But the first one I would love to ask you about is Deep House, which, you know, I think sets a nice mood. Uh, there's there's the lyric in here. It says, don't need to chase the party because it got to taste your body. I get to taste your body. So hot, hot wasabi. You got it like nobody. <laughs> You're like, what's the wasabi line about, boo? Um, yeah, well, it rhymed, uh, first of all, and it just felt fun. You know, I think I really love Deep House because it's like the probably the most nostalgic sounding song on there. Mm. Like, it's like very 90s. It's actually the most romantic song on the EP as well. It's kind of like, it's about my partner and being like, hey, we don't need to go out tonight because we got each other. Like, you're better than any club. That's one of the beauty the beautiful things about finding love and intimacy and partnership is that you're like, I, I don't need to go look for it. Like I, I already have it. It's, you know, we have each other and that's kind of the sentiment of the song. So then there is, as we talked about the brilliantly titled wet dream and yeah, I'm specifically drawn to the the line that says in the zone, here we go, go silicone. Now, you know how homo take it home. You know, when you're in a good writing vibe with people that are brilliant, like I was, they just, it's like you start throwing out, rhymes and like it just when it works you're just throwing the ball back and forth in a writing session and everyone's sort of like yes anding each other and like what about this what about this what about this and we just kind of came to it together and it just made us all cackle like we just laughed because we were like yeah that's it like now you know how a homo take it home there's an element of these songs that should be that should make you smile and they're not fully serious you know they're they're sexy dance songs you know i think the best type of sexual connection with anybody is one where there is laughter involved you know like you know when you hook up with somebody and like you you giggle and you stop and you might laugh at something and then you get all serious and you laugh like that's part of it that's part of the joy of of connection which brings me to the next track i wanted to talk about which is and actually, let me check with our ad sponsors if we can even save the song title, but <laughs> <laughs> the lyric, I'll break your heart and I'll look at you while I do it is, is fire. I mean, you Thank knew you. that was great. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. When it was, it, as it was getting finished, it was like, well, that's a period at the end of the sentence, you know, it's like, mm -hmm. and then it just drops and it's like, boom, mic drop. I think this song is just it's just got a lot of attitude when I listen to it and what I'm hoping it inspires, it makes me feel powerful. Like it makes me feel strong. Um, even in like a heartbreak, you know what you did me wrong. And I, so I'm turning it back around, you know, and I'm going to, and I'm going to look damn good when I do it. You're talking about nightlife. Mm -hmm. Rejection is a part of nightlife, honey. Like <laughs> it's part of it. So I kind of wanted to create that, that song that answered that, you know? All right, so the next one is neck, and yeah, we're gonna we're gonna read these lyrics. These are some or we're, we're going there. <laughs> the lyrics are pushing my head down, make me do it right. Yeah, you like it loud. Gag on it tonight. <laughs> <clears throat> I just thought, why not just be direct? It's hot. It's like you know, and I think the thing is, is like I, I don't feel like the idea is for me to be like put this on and look how hot I am. It's more like put it on and like, let it become your mantra. Like let it become inspiration and imagery for your fantasy. Like that's what I hope. Like that's the idea of this kind of stuff. You know, it's like, I keep saying like, it's the why not. It's like my favorite mm -hmm. artists always were ones that were like willing to say the thing. Any of my fans that are maybe a little older that might be going, Ooh, it's racy. I'm like, did you ever listen to Prince? Did you ever listen to Madonna? Did you ever listen to like, any of the 80s hair metal, I'm like, it's all, it's sex is great. Let's think about it. The last one I, I wanted to get into uh, on a deeper level and actually was not so much like a lyric as it is like, 
I would say your delivery. So this it's face, the face that sort of, it changes throughout the song, sort of the way that we're hearing it. But like, I mean, that is you, right? We're getting this like really bassy face at a certain point. It's like, that gets It was late. It was late night. And I just was like, I'm just going to find my... I don't know. I, I was. We were joking in the studio. I was like, "It's basically my hormone monster voice, like from from, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from Big Mouth." I was like, yeah. "I'm just gonna find this like kind of demonic, kind of dark voice as like something that just feels like it represents a different energy." That one is sort of the most like psychedelic. I think of all the songs, like it's super trippy and weird, and it slows down more than the other tunes. It's a different BPM and as, as a great way to finish the EP, like it's like downshifting, like now you're under the covers with your person and like yeah. it's happening. You know what I mean? And we were like really inspired by nine inch nails for that baseline. I kind of, I kept going, but I'm like, you know, I love that song closer. I love it. It's like, I want something that feels like dark and kind of weird like that. Adam, I'm so grateful for the time. I'm so excited for everyone else to hear after as I think it's going to be so so fun as always great to talk to you my old friend <laughs> thank you so much it's been a joy <laughs> it's my pleasure thank you <laughs> thank you likewise thank you